Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're gonna be showing you how to set forms for a concrete retaining wall that's gonna be four foot tall all along this area. Please stay tuned and continue watching until the end because we're gonna be explaining the entire detailed process. If you want to learn how to set forms and pour all kinds of concrete work with the proper finishing techniques, then you're in the best place here on YouTube since that's all we do here at Eternal Rock Construction. Consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and activate the notification bell so that way you don't miss out on any future videos that we're gonna be uploading in the near future. Here we have around 100 lineal feet of four foot tall concrete retaining wall that we're gonna be setting up the forms for today. So far, what you see right here is all of the perimeter forms that we set up on the outer portion of the wall. We're gonna be using rebar number four throughout the entire wall. And we have this bender bar that we use to bend the rebar and also cut it. So that way we have the proper length and appropriate measurements. So since we already have the outer form already set up in place, we pretty much just set those up and then put a stake to tie them together. And for the interior rebar, we start placing them at every 12 inches on center horizontally and the way how we put them together is we use those ties that you see right there we just it's a little piece of wire that you put around where it connects and then you just tie it around there and tighten them and that's how you keep them so that way they don't move from their place so that's what we're going to be doing right now is just setting up the rebar so we have 12 inches on center throughout the entire wall and in certain areas we started to add rebar to the height what you're seeing right here is the chamfer this is a little piece of angled wood that we nailed at the upper portion of the form board this was installed by running a string line from one end to the other and we basically just put a, a chalk mark and from there we just guided ourselves and nailed the chamfer as needed and also there at the bottom you see those form clips those were also placed we ran a string line and we also snapped the chalk line all through the bottom of the footing so that way we can get a nice straight and um, even area so we place those every approximately 18 inches apart or so and those are that way we can put the the form board we can place it right into those clips and it help it was going to help us to keep everything in place so right here we're continuing to place the rebar we have that little tool that helps us to tie it all together. This is the outer portion of the wall that we already secured in place. We have that bender tool. So basically the guys there at the bottom, they let us know how much length they need before they need like the rebar to be bent. And so they provided that to us over here. And now we were able to get them one of the bent rebars so they're just gonna go ahead and put it into the wherever they need it and they're just gonna tie that onto the vertical rebar that we already had and so we're just starting to measure everything just figuring it out they only needed a certain amount for the rebar to go on the one edge and then on the other side, it was gonna be a little longer. So we just
just got to make sure that we're going to have enough rebar to go and cover the, the whole area. So depending on the measurement, we can go ahead and cut it right there as well. That's the nice thing about that tool is you can just place it into that little slot and it helps us to just cut the rebar. And from there, we're just going to go ahead and tie it. And you can see right here that everything is falling into place. We have almost all of the rebar. And right there at that point, it kind of turns like as an L shaped. The next step that we're going to do is we're going to start cutting this pipe. It's about a three inch diameter that we're going to measure every uh, um, six inches thick because that's how um, that's how wide the, the wall is going to be. So we cut a bunch of those pipes and we're just going to be placing them at the bottom of the retaining wall every eight feet apart or so because this wall we're going to go ahead and have those weep holes this basically helps to drain the water from the back part of the wall towards the front and that way we have the necessary drainage that's required and so after we did all that we're almost ready to start closing in this wall we're just measuring right here and seeing what's going to work because there's going to be certain areas we're going to try to use the the long um they're like eight by four eight feet by four feet form boards and in certain areas we're going to try to fit the the whole form board but then um like in this corner right here we're going to have to also put in like a smaller section so that way it closes it off but all they're doing right there is they're placing that form board right into that form clip and then they just have a hammer they're just making sure that it goes into the the little clip area of of the uh the hardware and then they're just nailing um you know just hammering it in making sure it's nice and secure right there like you see it falls into place and then from there they have those snap ties and the wedges that's what he's putting there behind the wall those are the wedges so they already placed the snap ties in the inside and as we put in the wall those snap ties go to go through the the form board and then from there they start hammering down the wedges so that way we start securing the wall and that's pretty much the process of how we set up everything The first step is we start placing the form board there in its place. And from there, we make sure that the snap ties go through the holes of the form board. And then we're gonna be putting in those wedges like you see right there. And one important step is we're gonna go ahead and, and hammer those wedges down evenly. So, we're gonna hammer it on one side and then, and then on the other side and then we're gonna move on to the next one and as we're progressing forward we're gonna start um, you know tightening up those snap ties those wedges so that's the process that we're gonna continue here this wall it's kind of like an L shaped the the layout of it and all of this is so that way the homeowner can gain a lot more side yard because before all of this area was kind of like a hillside it was going from this upper sidewalk and it was just sloping down towards the house and so all of that it was not usable space so that's the nice thing about putting this kind of a concrete wall because now we're able to cut all that back and then we can put in this wall it's going to help retain all of that soil and usually for for this amount of retention a concrete retaining wall with rebar reinforcement is one of the best solutions for this kind of uh, scenario so and you see those stakes that 
we nailed as well on each side of the form that helps to keep everything in place we have the wedges there all the way through the wall the snap ties that go through it and so uh, wedges on either side and we just start hammering those uh, or nailing you know those uh, stakes right there and then at the very end the only thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna run a string line through the top of the wall and make sure that the wall is nice and straight nice and, and um, you know plumb all the way through and once we do that then we're also gonna add some kickers or some some supports that help to brace up the wall and that's pretty much it right here we already started to pour the concrete and we're just gonna be finishing it at the top then we're gonna come back the following day strip all the forms see those those angle uh, forms th th that's what is uh, the kickers that we use to help stabilize the wall I mean when we pour it and finish everything but that's pretty much the step-by-step -step process on how we set up the forms for a concrete retaining wall we hope you like this video please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and activate the notification bell so that way you don't miss out on any future videos that we'll be uploading in the near future May God bless you and we'll see you on the next video.